switch it up there with our meat masher. Um, uh, explosion? Enchilada. Shut your mouth. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It's Welcome to another cook with me. It's hard to not do cook with me. You know how we always say that? Welcome to another cook, cook with, with me. me. So I was trying to switch it up there. Okay, you know, nice. For the holidays, I don't know. Okay. You should have just <laughs> sang Jingle Bells then. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. Oh, that's the wrong one. Never mind. Let's start over. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. All right. So today we are making a super simple recipe. Of course, we love it simple, especially during the holidays when it's crazy and insane. We are making beef enchilada stuffed shells. Nice. And I think yes. we might be switch. We might be going backwards, switching spots. Like you're getting more complicated, and I'm getting more easy. You're getting into the four ingredients. Yeah. It's like literally requires nothing. This is really easy. Like. Really, really easy. But we like, right now at this point, we like find things and we're like, I want to do that. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if it's easier, harder. We're just like, end we result, want I want to eat that. Yep. That looks good. Let's make it. Let's make a video out of it. Boom. Done. Yes. And that was this recipe. I saw this recipe on Facebook. So this will be the first time we're trying it, but it looks super, super simple. So we'll make it for you guys and then we'll let you know. How we like it. Okay, so for this recipe, all you will need is the jumbo shells. These things are huge because we're gonna stuff these. So, jumbo shells, you need one box. You need the Mexican style four cheese blend cheese. That's right, you have to cheese. go Mexican. You have to have cheese. No, you have to go Mexican. Mexican style. And then we have two cans of refried beans. We have some. The original recipe didn't call for this, but I'm gonna add this to the ground beef because I think it'll be good. So we've got taco seasoning and we have red enchilada sauce. You don't need a ton of this, so I just got one little can of it. And then you'll need two pounds of beef and that's it. Wow, yeah. that is it? That's it. Holy cow, you wanna switch spots? I think I could do this one. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's brown our meat with our meat masher and start the noodle. All right, so we're just gonna pour the big old jumbo shell. Whoa, in the I've. Water. Have you ever even used these before? Never. Have you ever seen them before? Yes. Oh, okay. I've, I've seen never them before, seen them. But I've never, I've never used them for anything. I always just get the regular size shells. Wow, those so, are awesome. I think that's enough. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Sounds good to me. Yeah. So now we're gonna brown the meat. All right, we got our Costco meat here. We're just gonna brown this puppy up. We need two pounds, so I'm gonna do two. All right, now we're gonna put the other one in here. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And you guys, just FYI, it's nine o'clock at night right now. So this is not actually for dinner tonight. This is gonna be for, well, maybe it's dinner for you and I. Yeah, because we had late. I, I literally was at the, the, the cell phone store Forever. I was at Sprint for literally two and a half hours. Yeah, we were getting Braden a new phone for his birthday, which when you guys are seeing it, this, it will be today. Yes, so Braden's so, birthday is the 19th. Yep, so wish him a happy birthday, you guys. And just congratulate us, because we got through three birthdays this month. Oh, done. Now, now we can look forward to Christmas. We got a Christmas shop still. And we, we have not bought one thing. Nah. Not one thing. Nope. So. Here we go. It's going to be a crazy week, I think. Okay, so we're going to brown this up. Just letting some aggression out. Yeah, we always say, you know, pretend it's my head, but oh, oh. man. You know you know where I'm at right now on her list. Oh, oh shoot. Danny, why are you so crazy? All right, so we got the meat all browned up. Boom, boom, boom. That's starting to smell good. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna sprinkle on some taco seasoning. You can leave this out if you want. I just think it'll be good with it. So oh, yeah. we're gonna give her a go. And then I'm gonna put some salt, just to flavor it just a little. I was just telling Tina how she salts salt. I don't salt salt. You seriously, hashtag salt salt. I do love salt. I even, who, was it on the live we were talking to someone? They like. They like salt on their watermelon. Yes. And I do too. Yes. It's so good. On our watermelon, on our... Um, Lime, on your cucumbers. Cucumbers, on, on cantaloupe. On your salt. On my salt. 
She salts I love her. Salt. You are the only one I know who salts who salts her salt. You know what? I think that's why when I was um, pregnant. Explosion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, why uh, does that look explosion, like? Explosion. Uh, cooking emergency. What is that? It's my secret ingredient. Oh. There we go. Oh, Too I salt. was saying. I think that's probably why when I was pregnant, I would get so swollen. Oh. It's probably because I had so much salt. Possibly. I don't know. But man, I was, when I was pregnant, I got so woolen. You were glowing. No. I call it a glow. There was no glow about it. I call there it a glow. There was a whole lot of like, I don't know. Glow. Swelling. Like I could, I could push my ankles and it would like, insert into my ink like that's how much like water I had retained. I'm so glad I'm done with pregnancy. <laughs> I did it five times. I'm done. Alright, so we got all this meat together and done. So we're gonna shut that off and take it over here. Okay, so we're just gonna pour oh. all of it in here. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to make Danny have a hard time getting an angle here. Okay, so we got all the meat in there. That smells so good. It smells like your tacos. That, wow. <laughs> I wonder why it smells like tacos. Maybe it's Ow, the, that's hot. Maybe it's the taco seasoning you put in the meat. I don't know, maybe. Okay, so then this is gonna so this is obviously the stuffing that goes inside the shells. So while the shells are cooking up, I'm just gonna make this real quick. So we've got the meat, we've got the beans, refried beans. Refried beans are so good. I don't care if they come in a can and they look all like poop. Oh. I don't care. They taste delicious. Yeah, but you know what? There's some, like your refried beans cannot be like too, they can't be too runny. Like they've got to have the perfect consistency. Yeah, like, like the kind in the can, right? No, like the kind at Roberto's. Oh, Roberto's. Yes, Roberto's taco. Roberto's. Roberto's taco tacos are awesome, and his his refried beans. They are, are good. They're so good. They are. Because there's agree. another place over here called Fausto's, and their beans are too runny. They are. Yes, in comparison. I love their beans oh too. man. I'm not a bean snob, I guess. I, I'm cool with just from the can. <laughs> oh. Hello, Bean Julio. <laughs> oh, Bean Julio. <laughs> bean Julio. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Because those Bean Julio is going to come from your corn. Your corn holy. <laughs> oh, okay, no more of that though. Okay, so we're going to do like a couple handfuls of the cheese to go right inside the mixture. Oh man. Right? Serious? I mean, how healthy is this? We're starting tomorrow, right? No, we're starting in January. No. <laughs> the new year. No way, we've gotta go. We can't, babe, look at all those treats that just got like got brought to us this evening. Like, I don't think we're going on a diet anytime soon because honestly, it'd be rude not to eat things people give you, right? Yeah, that's yeah, true, that's see? true. So, we got to. So, you're gonna just mix this all up, guys. So what are we gonna call it? You know, I was thinking today, cause I, I was like, we used the wooden spoon the other day and I didn't really have a name for it. Oh, what so we like, call the wooden spoon? I'm gonna, like, I, I don't know. I was thinking about it, I'm like, oh man, it reminds me of like, uh -oh. getting whooped with this, getting whooped oh, with like a wooden spoon. I know, we'll call it the, hmm. <laughs> we'll call it the crap, I don't know. Oh man. What, do we think? what could we call it? I don't know, something mama. <laughs> who, got, who got spanked? With the wooden spoon. Yep. <laughs> hashtag wooden spoon. If you ever were spanked with the wooden spoon, I am hashtag belt. Oh. I got spanked with the belt. My oh. dad spanked me with the belt. Uh, and I did get the belt too. And I also got the fly swatter once in a while. Oh. So uh, I'm what I'm gonna call this because for all of you who saw the Thanksgiving, um, the Thanksgiving video when my mom said when my mom said the chunkla. Chunkla. So this is gonna be called the wooden chunkla. <laughs> so wooden chunkla. Hashtag wooden chunkla right here, baby, mixing it up with the wooden chunkla. That's what this is. Wooden chunkla. <laughs> chunkla? Chunkla. Chunkla? Yeah. I can't even see it. So hashtag wooden chunkla right here. I'll call it hashtag wooden chunkla. If you don't know what chunkla means, go look it up. Chunkla. It's like it's like a, a slipper or flip flop that you know. Your mom would hold up and be and hold at you like you better watch it. Yeah. I'm gonna get you. 
So this Check is the, this out. This is the wooden chancla right here, baby. Chancla, chancla. Okay. Oh wow. That is the stuffing. So you guys. that's gonna go inside. That's going inside the shells. The jumbo shells. Who's excited? I am. This is like carbs inside carbs inside carbs. And this is like <laughs> added to 9:30 at night. Yeah, kind of is. Oh well. <laughs> okay. So I've got our jumbo shells done. I drained them and then kind of patted them dry. But you know what these remind me of? What? It's a certain animal. Look at them. What? What do, what do they remind you of? I don't know. An armadillo. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. You see that? That's yeah. like an armadillo. It Minus almost, the head, legs, oh, tail. Well, I almost gagged a little. Because <laughs> that it is. It's an armadillo. Sure. Anyways. <laughs> Side note, armadillo pasta. That's what we're calling that. Okay, so now you're gonna just take your enchilada sauce. Use whatever kind of enchilada sauce. Enchilada. Enchilada. No, enchilada. Lada. No, enchilada. I said enchilada. Yeah. Okay. Enchilada. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna splash it. Boom. That's it. A little bit. Do yep. you measure or no? Nope. You just splash it in. Oh, okay. Just to get it. Just you to need get the slap the and spread. Nope, just to get the bottom. So let's do a little bit more. But this is literally what they did. So boom. So you just get the bottom, just like a little layer. Nice. Boom, okay. Then you're gonna take your so armadillo you, pasta. Can you go like green sauce? Or does it, like what did you Yeah, get? I just said you could do whatever enchilada sauce you want. Oh. So. And chi, and chi. And chi lada. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth, shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with my armadillo pasta. <laughs> oh, man. So then you just take. Watch your... out for the wooden jungle. Ah, it's moving! Oh man. <laughs> it's like, okay. Anyways. Okay, so you're gonna literally look. Oh wow, do you, do you wrap it or just cup it like nope, that? Nope, just cup it. Wow, Boom. that's it's good. It's going just like that, guys. Just like that. Come on. A stuffed armadillo. Okay, you guys, we got all the pasta stuffed and ready to go. Ooh. So the next step is you're gonna take the rest of your enchilada sauce and just pour, pour it over. over. That Easy looks good. peasy. Check that out. All right, so we got the enchilada sauce on here. Enchilada. Enchilada. And then. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It's just more cheese, guys. Oh. More cheese, please. Cheese is like butter. Everything's better with it. That's true. That is a true statement. So, we're just gonna- A little more right over there. Okay, there okay, okay, okay. Wow. Actually, this recipe when I was watching the video, they had a ton of cheese. Well then, we need to follow the, the well, video. That's what I'm doing, baby. Okay, so that is it. So now, you're gonna stick it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. Guys, this is heavy. Like, this is a heavy pan. That's carbs right there. That uh, is way carbs. Okay, so we're gonna stick that in there and let her cook. Damn. All right, you guys. Oh, my mama. This looks so good. Check this out. Wow. Are you kidding me right now? Wow. I mean. That looks good. That looks delish. Okay, wow. so we're gonna bring it over here. Put it on Jen Bowl's little hot pads. Okay, you guys. We're gonna try this out. Seriously, it smells so good. Look at so, that. Look at that. If your mouth is not drooling, I don't even know who you are. Is that not so good? Okay, so it's 10 o'clock right now. <laughs> Danny and I have not eaten dinner. The kids all ate, they're all in bed. And we don't. So this is our. We, what? And we don't recommend that you do this. No. This is not healthy, but no. it's okay right now. But it's okay right now. We don't do it all the time. So we're gonna take this little sh these little shells out. Look at this. Are you kidding me? <gasps> That's like the perfect little whatever. Oh, look at the little baby armadillo. Oh, stop. Oh, clonk. <laughs> That's all right. We'll just pick her right up. Slop her on. Damn. Guys. It smells so delicious. I'm excited. That's good right there. You know That's what? I bet this is so good with sour cream or the salsa verde. Or Parmesan verde. Parmesan cheese on top. Oh yeah, that would be your style. Grated. Okay, should I try this? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Which one do I try? That's the question. 
Here we go. And cut this up. Guys, look at this. This is like monster mash. Okay. Here we go. Hot. You crazy. Oh, I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, you gotta wait. You can't taste it when it's too hot. Mm. Well, I can taste it. Good? Mm. That is so good. Really? Yes. I gotta try this puppy. That's out. like legit good. Mm. I just want more. You guys, sour cream to top this off. You guys know I love my sour cream though, huh? Mm. I gotta show everyone how to mm. eat, how I eat my, uh, my just taco and sour Let cream. Just stop talking. Let me enjoy this right now. Mm. Hey, in the belly, belly, belly. Hey, you better watch. I'm gonna get out that wooden chancla. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. I'm we'll be back after these messages. Mm. All right, Danny's All gonna right. give it a whirl, guys. Try this out. Try this puppy. Oh, I just want more. It's so good. Mmm, that's very good. Wow. How good? Hot. Hot good. Very, very good. <laughs> very good. Yeah, this is really oh, good. Oh, wow. Beans I can it. see, though, how this could be filling. Oh, my gosh. I feel like yeah. I could eat maybe three. Maybe, if three, I'm really. Three, maybe two. Maybe I'm just full right now. I know. I'm, maybe I'm just tired, but yeah, this is. Maybe, are yeah. These are good. So, that basically, what I'm trying to get at is this whole dish, this whole little casserole dish, could probably feed. Your fa a family with some leftover. Yeah, with like I a would salad guess. and yep. you'll be you'll be totally fine. Oh, I agree totally. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Oh my mama! And then look, this is what we had left over. So I got to make another batch. I'll probably do that tomorrow, or I'll use this for tacos. But I do need to still fill these ones. So I did have some that I need to still fill up. But rating one to ten, baby. I give it a ten. I really like it. Ooh, but it's a little different. Like having like. Once you get like the taste of the refried beans, yeah, you're not. It's kind of like it tricks you because it's so good. But when you're eating pasta, you're not normally expecting to no. get the taste of refried beans. So it's it's really good. I know what you're saying because when I first saw this recipe, I was kind of like, wait, pasta and mm -hmm. taco like stuffing, but it actually works. Yeah, surprisingly, really it really does. That's really good. What do you think about the meat being seasoned with taco seasoning? I actually like it. I think it would not. You would need something else with it if yeah. you didn't season it with the taco. When I was just thinking, like, you can totally top this with anything. Anything you want. Yeah. Sour cream, salsa, more cheese. Tomato, olives. Ooh, you can just do anything like that. Tomatoes. Yeah. I mean, literally, you're just basically, the pasta shell is just acting like a tortilla. So anything, oh, else, that's you could, true. anything else you could put on it. So, Ooh. good job, baby. Big hit. It looks good. Yeah. All right, you guys, so that is it. As you can see, plate is empty. Really good. I might have one more. I don't know. It's kind of late. Just do it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll have one more with sour cream. I have to. So good. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this cook with me, you guys. So let me know if you guys try this, and if you do, let me know how much you liked it. Because honestly, I'm not lying. This is good. This is really good, and I think the kids are really gonna like it. It's very tasty. I'm super curious what they'll think. So I'm gonna actually wrap this up for tomorrow. I'll stick it back in the oven for dinner tomorrow, and we'll be good to go. Because like we said, I think this will be super filling for everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Try if you let me with our lives, I am pleading, who am I? Stories that aren't mine What I did